All aboard! Bringing you board games. Tonight on All Aboard. Beneath the leaves of the towering Evertree, a civilization of critters is intent on establishing and settling new cities. We will be collecting and producing resources to build constructions and attract critters to build the greatest city in Everdell. Hi guys, my name is Gly. And I'm Pat, it's great to see you here at All Aboard. So in Everdell, the most humble person goes first, and because I tried to argue that that was me, we decided that Gly <laughs> should be the starting player. So, this is a worker placement game, and we've got more workers as the game goes by. Being the first player, I start with uh, five cards, and in each turn, you can only do one action. Okay, and I start with six cards. So my first action would be to get two berries. Okay. And draw a card. And let me take the fool just to do something a little bit <laughs> anti-you. <laughs> to, to mess with my city. <laughs> okay. Okay, and a new card comes out there, and it is my turn. So the twig barge just came out. Okay, so because this is a two-player game, we have three forest cards, and each of those has a different action. This one allows you to take any two resources. This one, as Sly just took, allows you to take two berries and one card. And then this one over here allows you to draw two meadow cards and play one for minus one resource. So for my action, I am going to take two berries. Hmm. Berry full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really don't have resources just yet, so... Yeah. I'm going to get two wood or twigs. Oops. Two twigs of the ever tree okay. and, and, and I draw a card. Okay, back to me. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to take this forest clear action so I can draw two meta cards and play one for minus one of any resources. So I will take which ones? I will take the ever tree here and the peddler. And then I play the peddler, so that is going to cost two berries and I can pay just one less. Yeah. So that's just one berry. Right, and let's, back to you. Yeah, let's replenish the cards. Architect. Architect. Okay. And school. All right. Mm -hmm. I am going to play the wonder. Right. So that's uh, two berries. And the wanderer does not take up space in your city. So we can play only a maximum of 15 cards in our city but the wanderer doesn't take any place, yeah? So okay. that's two berries and I can draw three cards. So I'm going to draw the school. Plus I am going to draw hmm, the lookout. And I'm going to draw the store, the storehouse. Okay, taking all from the meadow. <laughs> yeah, all from the meadow. Okay. Okay, and it sure go. Let's replenish the cards. The in historian school and farm. Okay. I am going to take all of my guys home. So uh, you can end the season whenever you want and that just means you bring all of your guys home and then depending on the season a different action will occur which is written here on the tree. For the first season which is spring then you get to take one new worker and then activate all of your production cards but I don't have any product. Oh I do have a production card. I can pay up to two resources to gain an equal amount of resources. Uh, but I don't really want to get rid of berry. <laughs> yeah, I don't want they to get rid of my berry just now. <laughs> yeah, they seem to be very useful for this game. They are, I think. Yeah. So that is my action then. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the same. Uh, Coming home. Yeah, I'm gonna come home and prepare for the next season. Okay. And I don't have any production in my city just yet. Okay. 
-hmm. All right. Uh, I am going to do what you did the last time. Take two berries and a card. Cut. cut. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I know what you're going to get. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm going for, right? I was yeah. eyeing for it myself. <laughs> I'll take this farm before you can get your paws on it. <laughs> Two, three, Hard. four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I've reached my hand limit of eight, so I won't be able to take any more cards unless I end up discarding some or playing some from my hand. Yeah, I'm on my limit as well, so I need to, I need to do something with my cards. Okay, I am going to put my guy here and may discard any card from your hand. For every two cards, she discard gain one uh, resource. So okay. I'm going to discard these two cards and I am going to get a resin. Okay, I am going to play my shopkeeper. So that's going to cost two berries. And I can gain a berry every time I play a critter. Wow, that's a very, very good card. And that action doesn't count for the shopkeeper himself. I can't mm -hmm. get a berry for him, but from now on. Okay. So I am going to get two resources. Okay. So that's two pebbles. Back to me? Yes. Okay. I am going to take three, I don't know, two resins. I'm going to play my lookout. So that's a pebble, a resin, and a twig. And I'll one, two, three, four, five, six, and back down to seven, right? So I can actually take one. So I'm going to take. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take two of these twigs and a card and this time I think I will take the I'll take the school. Okay. Let's replenish our meadows. Postal pigeon. I'm going to play my twig barge. Okay, and that's a uh, a pebble and a twig and that gains me two twig so oh, that's my nice. pebble and then two twig mm -hmm. all right and it's time for me to play my farm so that costs two twigs and a resin and then i can gain one berry mm -hmm. yeah Okay, so for me, I'm going to play the lookout, and that means I can copy any basic location. I want to copy the where you are. Okay. I want to get to resin. Okay. Mm Hand -hmm. back to me. Yeah. It's hard to get resources in this game until you yeah. build up your engine, right? Okay, I am going to play the wife. So that's going to cost me two berries. And I get one back for my shopkeeper. So there's two and one back. And that just gives me victory points. And I'll get extra victory points if paired with a husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for me, I got all my guys out. So I think I'm going to get my guys back. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to... So I'm going to go to the next season and I can draw two meadows okay. card, but I have two, four, six. So, I oh, so you can yeah. fit them both, yeah. can fit them both. I will get the in and I have to get another one for the, from the meadows. Yeah. I will get the historian. That's a nice card. That gives yeah. you an extra card each time you play any crater or construction, right? Yes. Okay, and the general store comes out and another wonder. They really have some beautiful artwork on these yeah. cards, don't they? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I can't get resources until I get my workers back. I'm going to play the husband. And so the husband can share a space with the wife. And I'll also get that for free because of my farm. I'll just lock that door there. 
And so I gain one resource if it's paired with a wife and I have at least one farm in my city, which I do. So I'm going to take a pebble for that. Yeah, pebble is tough to get, huh? Yeah. And I also get a berry because of my shopkeeper. Ah, oh, I hate that you have that shopkeeper. <laughs> I am going to get two resources. All right. Yeah, which is two pebbles. Okay, and I think I'm going to play this Wanderer here. So we can go here for now, and that's going to cost me two berries, and I get one berry back because of the shopkeeper. And the Wanderer is going to allow me to draw three cards. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I actually can hold three, so let me see what we get here. I'll take another from here and let me take the general store from here. Yeah, let's replenish the meadows, the ruins, and a monk. Okay. I am going to play the storehouse. So that would be a twig, a resin, and a pebble. And I can put two, three twigs, two resin, one pebble, or two berries. I'm going to put two berries there. Okay, I have an innkeeper here that's going to cost one berry, and then I'll get that one berry back because of the shopkeeper. And it just means that when I play a critter, I can discard the innkeeper to decrease the cost by three. Mm -hmm. I am going to use my lookout. And I'm going to copy this location. So two berries and one card. Okay. So I get two berries and a card. And again, this is my maximum. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to construct the general store. And that's going to cost a resin and a pebble. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a resin and a pebble. And I gain a berry, and if I have a farm in my city, which I do, I gain an additional berry. So I'm very berry full. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I am going, I have my hand on maximum. Oh, so yeah. I'm going to get three twigs. I think I'm going to take my guys back and prepare for this new season. So that gives me two cards from the meadow. And I get a new worker. And now uh, two cards from the meadow. Who would I like? Hmm. They're all like zero value. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing that's too amazing there, is there? I'll take the twig barge anyway. That seems okay. And I'll take this architect. Architect indeed. <laughs> Five, six, seven, so eight, and that's me back up to my hand limit. A dungeon. Again, zero Ooh. value. And a teacher. Oh, there's two teachers two out teachers there. Two teachers <laughs> out there. Mm. Okay, I'm going to play the inn, which is two twigs and one resin. And play a creature or construction from the meadows for three fewer. Three. Uh, that's an action, right? Yeah, that's an action, yeah. So, one resin and two tweaks. There's a lot of zero point cards out there, yeah, isn't there? Like <laughs> so what is it? Five out of the eight cards aren't worth anything. <laughs> I'm going to just take two resins. Okay. I'm going to play the teacher for two berries. All right. Mm -hmm. And the woodcarver is out. I'm going to take a pebble here. Okay, and okay. I'm going to take two berries and a card. Almost on my limit, I have seven, so oh, one yeah. less. Okay. And back to me. Yeah. I'm going to play the king. So that's going to cost me four six berries but I can discard the innkeeper to pay three less so I'll do that 
Mm -hmm. And that'll cost me three, and then I get one back for my shopkeeper. Your shopkeeper is just so good, right? And it's good for getting critters out, all right, yeah. Yeah. I am going to play my shopkeeper. I just got it. I got it. Oh, late. you got one? <laughs> yeah, so that's two berries. Okay. I hope it's started yeah. generating, but <laughs> it's too late already. <laughs> he's, he's useful. He's very useful. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to collect two twigs and a card. And I'll take a card from the deck. Okay. It's a little bit tough on resources. So, it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get my guys home. One, three, and... Oh, so you do a production. Yeah, I'm going to do a production. So, for the wonder... Oh, uh, no, not wonder is not a production, sorry. Tweak barge, so I get two tweaks. And then storehouse, I can put two more berries there. Okay. Okay, and for the teacher, I can draw two cards, keep one and give you one, but I'm on this, my seventh card, so I can only draw one okay. and not give you anything. <laughs> <laughs> and back to me. Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to take this action space here so I can take two of any resource. And I think that I am in need of some pebbles. So I'm going to take two pebbles. And back to you. I'm going to uh, take my berries from my storehouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You've got a lot of berries there now. Just four. <laughs> I need more than four. And you'll be able to get some back for your <laughs> for your shopkeeper. <laughs> All right. I am going to play the twig barge. So that costs a pebble and a twig. So there's a pebble and a twig. And that gives me two twigs. Okay, I'm going to play my Juds. Oh, so nice. So when you play a creature or construction, you may replace one resource with another resource. Wow. So that's three berries. And because of my shopkeeper, I get one berry back. I think that I'm going to have to prepare for the next season. So mm -hmm. I get my two new guys here and all of my little squirrels come back <laughs> and I get to do a production. Oh, that's right. Okay, so my farm gives me a berry and my, uh, let me do this one first. My husband lets me have a resource if I have at least one farm and a wife, which I have. So one resource and that will be a pebble. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then my twig barge is going to give me two twigs. And my general store will give me two berries because I have a farm. And finally, my peddler is going to allow me to pay up to two resources again, an equal amount of resources. So what do I need? I need to exchange these two twigs. Now you know what, I, twigs are more useful to me now. I think that I will do one twig and one berry and I'll take two, two pebbles for that. Okay, I'm going to get two berries and draw a card. Okay. I haven't got the cards that I would want. I'm going to take two of any resource and that will give me... Okay, I'll take one pebble and I will take a resin. Back to you. I'm going to get two resin. Right, I'm going to take a resin and a card. 
Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to play my chapel. Yeah. So that's uh, one resin, one pebble, and two twigs. Okay, I'm going to spend three twigs and three resin and three pebbles and I'm going to build the ever tree. Wow. It's really good, no? Yeah, it's expensive, but it's it's good. <laughs> I'm going to play my shepherd for free because I have the chapel. Oh, okay. So let's lock that. And so I'm going to gain three berries. And if I put a point here in the chapel, I can get um, I can get another point for each of them. Yeah. Well, oh, okay, but you didn't have any there, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play an innkeeper. So that's going to cut me one berry, which I get back because of my shopkeeper. And once again, that just gives me, uh, I can discard it for a three berry reduction on a critter. Mm. Okay, for me, I'm going to play my fool. I was wondering when yeah. he was coming out. <laughs> okay. To use some of your space. So that's three berries. But because of my shopkeeper, I get one berry back. Okay. Mm. I'm going to put this fool here underneath my wanderer because... My wanderer doesn't take up space, but the fool does. Mm -hmm. Oh, me around. too. My wanderer <laughs> as well doesn't take up space. Don't like having that fool in my city. <laughs> <laughs> Forsooth, thou hast not heard of me, he says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, back to me again. You know what? I am going to, I'm going to play the teacher for two berries, and then I get one back. And he goes there. And that allows me to draw two cards, keep one, and give one to my opponent. So I'll draw this one here. Very nice. And give one to your opponent. I have to draw one to <laughs> give to you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't give me something that nice. <laughs> <laughs> After I send you the fool, I, I, I'm sure. I, I wish that I had a fool to give you, but <laughs> unfortunately, I'm going to draw this ruins, and here you can have that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to play the ranger, which is a unique creature. So that's two berries, but because of my shopkeeper, I have one, one berry back. back. <laughs> And I am going to move my, I'm going to move my guy to here, so I get a point and two cards. Oh, okay, nice. Point and two cards. Okay, and we get a new one out. Oh, you get a second card here? Yeah. And then there's a new one here. Oh, okay. I think that would have been nicer earlier. No, I'm just going to take two resin. I'll use the space you vacated. I'm going to put my guy here. That's the cartog cartographer's mm -hmm. expedition event. Okay. Because I have three of those. One, two, three. Oh, well done. Okay. All right. Um, I am going to go after two twigs and a card. Two twigs and um, I'm going to take the card from here, I think. I'm going to um, play my the wife. I'm going to put where the wonder is because it doesn't take any play uh, any space. Okay. So that's two berries and it's a creature, so I get one because of my shopkeeper. Okay, so I'm going to take three twigs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will play my minor mole. So oh. this is a common creature. So I will use 
three berries and uh, I get one berry back because of my shopkeeper. Okay. And I can copy an opponent's uh, production city. So I want to copy your okay. peddler. Okay, so you can pay up to two resources to get an equal amount of resources. So I will, just one second. So I will give back one berry to get one resin. Okay, you don't want to change anything else? No, I don't have enough resources to change <laughs> in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you go. That, that was a nice one. That was your minor mole, yeah? Yeah. That's a good card. Okay, I am going to play a school. And that's going to cost two twigs and two resin. Okay, and two twigs and two resin. And that's just going to be points for each common critter in my city at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to discard five cards to go here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to come down here and I'm going to discard one, two, three, four four cards to gain two resources yeah two and uh, take two resin <laughs> resin are high yeah. in demand right <laughs> okay and i'm going to play a school for two resin and two tweaks oh okay mm -hmm. <laughs> i think i have that much <laughs> that's for common critter. critters right yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to play the palace, and that's going to be wow. two twigs, three resin, and three pebbles. One, two, three. All right, getting close to the end here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get one of this. Oh, this get guy. an event. Yeah. I have one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have how many? Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I have a space for two more. But I'm going to discard the innkeeper. And that lets me reduce the cost of playing a critter by three berries. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay, play the architect, who costs four. So that just costs me one, which I get back from my shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that's the end of my turn yeah are oh, you right you're yeah. finished okay uh, I have no workers left okay and so my last action then I think I'm going to play this wood carver so that's two berries and I get one back mm -hmm. and shopkeeper is really good <clears throat> yeah yeah I got a lot of berries out of him and so I can pay up to three twigs to get a bonus point each. So I got two twigs, so I might just take those two mm -hmm. bonus points. And I have a berry, and there is nothing out there worth just a berry, I think. So, and that's it, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. So before we go to final scoring, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you receive notification each time we release a new content. Yeah, guys, your <laughs> likes and your comments and subscriptions really help us. So just please take a second and do that. And yeah. now we're on to final scoring. All right. Okay. Mm. So. Thank you. Got this. <laughs> Okay. I just have a feeling you got this. <laughs> Let's see. I, I think I'm going to get a lot of points from my ever tree here. Yeah. And King. Okay, so let's do points on cards first. Okay. So I've got uh, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Okay. Plus I have one for each common creature so i have one common creature two common creature three that's unique unique mm -hmm. unique common four four so that's 22 and four is 26. 26 plus i have this uh awards which okay. is six so that's 32 plus 1 33 and i have five. Oh, that's really good yeah. okay so that's 38 38 in all mm -hmm. okay uh, so i have let me just 
take these guys out. I've got this fool that gives me <laughs> minus two. And I'll just spread these out. Okay, so for my cards, I get... 1, 3, 5, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 21, 22, wow. 23, 24, back down to 22, 23, 25, and 4 is 29. Oh, you're already... <laughs> and then uh, 29 and 3 is 32 for the wife paired with the husband. 32. And 1 for each uh, unique construction. 32, 33, 34, 35. Wow. 35. And then uh, my school, 35. My And then my school gives me one for each common critter. Uh, 36, 37, 38, 39. 39, 40, 41, and then uh, one for each of these stars, so 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I took the ever tree straight away when I saw it in the meadow at the beginning of the game. It's very expensive to build, but it's worth five points plus one for every prosperity card in your city at the end of the game. It also gave me a goal to aim for. First of all, collecting the resources and then trying to get as many prosperity cards as I could. Getting a husband and wife pair is good because it gave you some nice points and also they take only one space in your city. I had a wife, but I just couldn't find a husband. Love isn't easy, is it? Early in the game it's good to play a lot of production cards. If you can get them out before the first time you prepare for a new season, you can get the resources three times. The prosperity cards can be held in your hand until the end of the game where you're more flush for resources because they don't do anything until final scoring anyway. I concentrated on getting the events because I thought that they would help me a lot. I ended up tying up my workers as well as influencing the cards I played because I needed those tags to get the events. The events would have worked better for me if I was able to play the king. I was very happy when I saw the shopkeeper in my starting hand. The free berry every time you play a critter really adds up and so I got him out as early as I could. It's great that I have enough resources to afford a school card because it gave me bonus for its common critter I had in my city. It didn't give me enough bonus to catch up with Pat but all prosperity cards in Everdell gives you extra bonuses. It's worth looking out for those cards. So that's it for tonight and you've been watching All Aboard. We hope you enjoyed our playthrough. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again on our next video. Bye. See you next time. Goodbye.